Fallout 76 just released its Milepost Zero update, and while it introduced a lot of new content to the game and features, there are several different issues and delays to talk about. But before we get into it, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest Fallout news. On September 3rd, 2024, Bethesda Game Studios released the highly anticipated Milepost Zero update for Fallout 76. The update promised new features including a complete overhaul of legendary crafting, best builds, and the questline of Bump in the Road that's associated with creating your own caravan company. However, despite the excitement around this update, it faced several issues and delays, leaving many players frustrated as core features were either incomplete or postponed. While some players were able to explore the major features of Milepost Zero upon release, certain core elements of this update left the community underwhelmed. The revamped legendary crafting system was one of the biggest promises of this update, designing to give players more direct control over the customization of their gear. Players can now trade or scrap unwanted legendary items to attain mods, allowing for more personalized builds. This system allows crafting of more powerful weapons and armor with minimal RNG, which the community welcomed. The new Best Builds feature introduced a social element to Fallout 76 by allowing players to submit, visit, and rate camp builds. Players can explore other users' camps, vote for their favorites, and draw inspiration from others. Despite being one of the standout features in this update, some players noted that bugs and balancing issues in the submission process detracted from the experience. Nonetheless, the creative aspect of the community remained strong and this system provided a platform for dedicated builders to showcase their work. However, these features alone weren't enough to offset frustrations stemming from missing content in this new update. One of the most anticipated elements of Milepost Zero was the Caravan Outpost feature. This system allowed players to build and customize their own caravan and deliver supplies across the treacherous landscapes of Skyline Valley. However, to the dismay of the community, Bethesda quietly announced on the game's Discord and Twitter that this feature will be delayed until later in September at some point, no release date was even given. This led to some widespread disappointment among the players, particularly because the announcement was not made more transparently. The delay of the Caravan Outpost feature has been a significant source of frustration for Fallout 76 players, many of whom have been eagerly awaiting its arrival. The issue was compounded by Bethesda's lack of clear communication on the update, with the delay being announced in an offhanded manner rather than through an official blog post or direct communication to the game's player base. Players expressed their dissatisfaction on social media, noting that it felt disingenuous from Bethesda to market the update with a major feature only to quietly delay its release. The new quest, A Bump in the Road, was also part of the Milepost update, following players as they build their own caravan delivery service and fight off raiders and monsters along the way. This was supposed to be a key element of this update, allowing players to recruit companions, manage caravans, and engage in combat while delivering supplies across Skyline Valley. However, as with the Caravan Outpost, this quest has also been delayed until later in September. They'll probably release simultaneously, but this leaves players without access to one of the major content draws for this update. Let me know down in the comments what you think about all of the new content added in this update and all of the content that was delayed until later in the month. In an attempt to address ongoing gameplay issues, Bethesda Game Studios has also included included significant combat tweaks and system rebalancing in Milepost Zero. These updates targeted the damage over time effect on fire and poison weapons, as well as creature stats aiming to smooth out difficulty progression from lower to higher levels. The adjustments also included AP cost reductions for weapons like the Railway Rifle and introduction to better damage scaling for weak points. While these tweaks have also been welcomed by players, they aren't enough to compensate for the overall dissatisfaction caused by the delayed Caravan Outpost and Questline. Alongside the Milepost Zero update, Bethesda launched Season 18 Country Roads, offering players a new set of rewards such as power armor and themed camp items. This season also featured new events and challenges, keeping players engaged while waiting for the delayed features to arrive. Bethesda's ongoing roadmap for the rest of 2024 for Fallout 76 promises to be a packed schedule for the rest of the year, including Fallout Day festivities in October and the return of the Invaders from Beyond event in November. While the planned content aims to keep the player base engaged, the delays of key features from the Milepost Zero update have cast a shadow over the game's immediate future. Milepost Zero was designed to introduce exciting new features to Fallout 76, but delays in core content have soured the update for many players out there. While legendary crafting and best builds brought meaningful changes to the game, the delay of the Caravan Outpost feature and the new questline has left fans frustrated. Plus, there has also been some criticisms about the best builds feature that I will get to in here in just a second. With a stacked roadmap for the rest of 2024 for Fallout 76, Bethesda has time to recover from this setback, but improved communication and timely feature rollouts will be crucial to regaining player trust in the future. 
The best builds feature in Fallout 76's Milepost Zero update has stirred debate within the player community of the game. This feature allows players to nominate their camps for showcasing, but many are unhappy with the self-nomination system. Critics of this new feature argue that it leads to basic, low-effort builds being featured in public locations around the map. Some suggest adding a dislike button, while others believe it wouldn't really solve the core issue and might discourage some participation. Some players have submitted their builds solely to help others complete daily tasks, which has further skewed the ratings in the best build feature. Despite the different criticisms, others believe the feature will improve as players get more accustomed to it. Bethesda's goal here seems to be encouraging engagement within the system, but players hope for refinements and anticipate further updates to the Milepost Zero content very soon. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the best builds feature. Has it been good so far, or are there still ongoing issues? Since the game's rocky launch, Fallout 76 has grown into a beloved title, especially with the resurgence sparked by the popular Fallout TV show which has seen over 65 million viewers to this point. Creative director John Rush explained how the game's NPC update and continued development has transformed the game over time, making Appalachia the main character of the story. At Gamescom, Rush hinted at the future map expansions coming to the game like Skyline Valley. Players enjoy exploring Appalachia, and any future updates that expand this map are likely to be well received, although specific details details remain under wraps at the moment, but this is particularly exciting because this map in Fallout 76 is probably one of the best maps across all the Fallout games. It's definitely this game's strong suit. One of the most anticipated updates to Fallout 76 is coming in 2025 and will introduce playable ghoul classes, allowing players over level 50 to become ghouls through a questline. This change offers a whole new playstyle for players, with radiation resistance, unique perks, and in-game interactions differing based on being a ghoul. Fallout 76's initial expectations of player versus player violence never really panned out. Instead, players prefer cooperation, helping each other build camps, fight creatures, and explore. The lack of interest in PvP even led to the removal of the Nuclear Winter mode which is the Battle Royale mode in Fallout 76. Honestly, Fallout 76 has one of the best communities out there and it's really great to see. Despite concerns from some fans, Rush assured that Fallout 76's ongoing development isn't delaying Fallout 5. In fact, Fallout 76 is seen as enhancing the Fallout experience, and its overall success may ultimately make Fallout 5 even more impactful when it finally releases. And they've already gone on the record saying that they plan to continue to release Fallout 76 content far into the future, even to the point where Fallout 5 will be released, and Fallout 5 isn't expected until 2030 to 2032 at the very earliest probably, so there's a lot more content coming to Fallout 76 in the future. With continued updates, including the introduction of playable ghoul classes in 2025 and future potential map expansions like the Skyline Valley expansion, Fallout 76 is far from slowing down in its content releases. As John Rush puts it, the game is only going to get bigger from here. It will be interesting to see where Fallout 76 goes from here and how they continue to update the game. I mean, at some point they have to run out of ideas, but with the seemingly endless types of content for the Fallout series, it will be really interesting to see what they do. I mean, honestly, the map expansions are probably one of the most exciting things, but there's a lot of new features they can add to the game as well. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the future of Fallout 76 and what you want to see come to the game in the future. I mean, honestly, they can go in so many different directions, and it will be great to see what this game looks like in 5-10 to 10 years. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest Fallout news. And if you're looking for something else to watch, click one of the videos you're seeing on screen right now. I will see you there.